So the frame of the house is going up pretty well. There's an awful lot to do in terms of getting it all in place. I've had two lots of timbers to work with. One I've had in storage outside, the other I've had in storage inside my workshop. I'm now at the point where I've used up the timbers that I've had stored outside and I need to get into those timbers that I've had in the workshop. And as a result, I haven't exactly been left with a great deal of workspace to do anything else. I'm still not going to be able to shift the plaster until I've got a roof on the other structure. But as soon as I get these timbers out of the way, I should be able to do another quick tidy up in the workshop and that'll give me some space back to do some other stuff. So that is all the framing done. We've got all the internal walls put in place. Uh, there's a couple of extra noggins that have to be put in here and there, but for the most part, it's all pretty much ready to roll. And start working out the external cladding, the external lining. Uh, the roof buttons are in place, ready for the sarking and the tin to go on. But basically, this structural skeleton of the house is ready to roll. In terms of layout, what we're basically looking at is that the large opening there will be a glass sliding door, which will essentially be the front door. That opens up to the kitchen area on the left-hand side, uh, and straight ahead or to the right is the main living and dining area. Uh, it's not going to be a particularly big home, but it'll be a comfortable little place. From there, we walk through a little tiny mini hallway area, uh, linen cupboard off to the section here, built-in laundry cupboard on that side. Uh, we've got the bathroom area, which has to be laid out. Uh, it'll be a walk-in wet room bathroom. And off to the right here is the main bedroom area. This will be the full-size bedroom area, big enough for a king-size bed, and it'll have a large built-in wardrobe across that wall. Through the framing of that wall, you can see the second bedroom area, which is the smaller of the two bedrooms. Uh, this will essentially be set up as a home office space with a Murphy bed built in so that it can be used as a guest bedroom as needed. This little bedroom also leads out to the back door area and eventually this section will also be cleared up and used a bit differently than it currently is now. So I've been really busy trying to get all this organised and there's uh, still quite a lot to do but now I can start getting it weatherproofed and getting a roof on it and then we can skin the walls and start making it a watertight structure. I know it's been a long time between updates, but as you can see, I've had a lot on my plate and there's still quite a ways to go. The plan is to have this finished by the end of the year so they'll be all finished up and ready to move in just before Christmas. So as I said, there's still loads to do, but it is getting there. But anyway, that'll be the update for this time. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.